Welcome back, everybody. My name is Mr. Llama. This is winning in 40 APM or less, and today it is going to be a user request as we do follow ZVP uh, One Base Colossus all in it. It's going to be hitting a little bit later, so it's going to be like a 9, 30, 10 minute push. And like I said, this is purely by request, so you can throw out crazy things like this. You're like, you know what? I play ZVP and the dude hits me at 10 minutes with two Colossus and and some army and stuff like that and I'm gonna go ahead and do it and show you how to basically react to it now one thing that he did state was that he opens up with the three bases um, he opens up you know three base Stefano style go for the Roach Max uh, sort of play but something that you kind of are gonna have to determine here and adjust your play a little bit is what when you see your opponent staying on that one base for that long so I'm going to go ahead and not be actually getting up to the three bases, but I'll kind of showcase why uh, and my reasoning and stuff and how I'm kind of moving everything around to, uh, or adjusting my build, I should say, because a lot of StarCraft is reactionary. We're going to go into this game thus far right now as if we're going to be opening up with that, so I'll be scouting on 14, that's just personal preference. Um, and it's just a good time to scout. I feel like you can get over there, see if they're going to forge fast expand, see if they're going to gate expand. If they're going to two gate you, then you can have that pool down, which you 15 pool anyways. Uh, for the most part, most people 15 pool, uh, at least currently in this metagame. Some people are starting to go back to the hatch first, but it's really not quite on, caught on yet. And I know I 15 pool at least. So uh, this drone is going to get over here and go for a scout, and then that will kind of tell us what exactly we're going to be doing later on in the game as we do um, move along. So here I get in, I see he gate expands, and when there's a gate expand, or at least a gateway up like this, that's when you have to be uh, a little bit worried about what exactly is going to be coming out right here. You're gonna, you can drop your natural hat. Sure, I take mine at 16 right there because there is a gate, exp or at least a gateway and not a forge. He cannot go for the cannon rush, so that is something important. And look at that, you can actually see the warping of the gateway right there, or chrono boosting. That's pretty darn cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and go busy really quickly. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take my expand right here, but then beyond that, I'm going to go ahead and wait a little bit, chill, get my queen out, uh, get an overlord in production, of course, because I'm at 18 out of 18 right there, so I probably shouldn't have supply blocked, I probably should have brought that overlord out a little bit sooner, but oh well, you know what, we're still okay, we're still in a fine position, uh, we're just mining, and I have my overlord right over here, this is where I love to send him. And if they do forge fast expand, you can send them uh, somewhere over here and kind of check across the map and or his base check there, or send it back here to check in later, uh, see what it's doing. But if it's still a gate expand, you can wait right around here and then just move it back and forth between there to see when he does drop that nexus and if he drops that nexus. So I'm also going to be getting out a couple of lings right now, getting a geyser up simply because I want to be prepared for if this is some sort of one base hit right here. Sometimes I'll take my gas even earlier. Earlier, so if I feel like there's going to be a four gate or something like that, uh, if I get in, you know, it's just like no chronos being used on anything, kind of saving up. I'll be a little weary and uh, I'll just get my gas to like 17, something like that, just so I can get speed out a little earlier to defend against that. But right now I feel a little bit, I feel okay. I don't see anything really moving out across the map yet, and I have a couple links that are going to go over here and check and see exactly what he's doing. So I'm going to poke up this ramp and then poke down and see if I can see anything. So right there I was unable to see anything beyond that first zealot, so now I'm a little bit concerned because I'm like, all right, I don't really know what's going on at this point. Back home, I have both my queens. I transferred that one down. I'm just going to be injecting. And then I'll just want to come back up here and touch on this a little bit later here just to kind of scout up once again, see if I can see anything else. So I'm just continuing with my drone production. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to check up again. And I see nothing. So now I'm going to hit away and I see a stalker. Okay, so seeing a stalker right there tells me it's not going to be a uh, gate expand because if he was going for that, we'd see sentries out right now to, of course, force away. So then he can start force fielding when he does drop down his, you know, eventual wall right here uh, and his nexus. So seeing that stalker is a huge thing right there for me. And by going up, I could actually see that. I see the Chrono Boost going down this warp gate. And now I'm like, all right, you know, something's probably going up. So I'm going to go ahead and start throwing down spine crawlers right here. Um, I throw down a couple of spines because he's still on these two on this one base right here versus me being on the two base. So being on two base like that, 
I'm going to go ahead and also grab a second gas. I'm trying to remember why I did this. Uh, oh, okay. So it's so I could just get Lair Tech. And the reason for this is because in the event that he has a uh, Stargate back here, or he's going DTs or something, um, DTs would probably be hitting fairly soon. So that could have put me in trouble. You want to get that Evo Chamber, which I did get up earlier on, but I forgot to get a Spore Crawler. That's okay, though. If he would have come with DTs, I could have thrown Spores up all around uh, and just run around with my drones and stuff until the Spore Crawlers were up. But now I do get a Spore up anyways. Um, so here I'm kind of worried about, you know, possibly seeing some Void Rays, something like that. So I get a Lair. Uh, so I can, of course, get to the next tech at least to defend against that stuff. And I still have this Overlord right here. I see there's no expansion up. And so at this point, I'm just going to start pumping out units. As you can see, I have 45 drones, so I feel very, very safe. Um, at, or economically, I feel very sound, right? And I know he cannot have more production than like 22, or he could have, you know, of course, six, uh, 24 probes right there and whatever. But I'm still going to be ahead of him in economy no matter what at this point. So I just, now I'm going to be starting to make lings, lings, and more lings because I love some lings. I'm also making a macro hatch here. Um, I got speed at, with my first 100 gas, and so with this macro hatch, uh, this will allow me to just make more links, and I scout up with those links, and I'm also scouting with the overseer here, and I see, okay, I know exactly what's going on now, I see he's building this colossus, I see he's got the gateways, so it's going to be colossus with stalkers and zealot push, so what do I need to do? Well, at this point, I basically need to just not lose, because that is very all-in, right? This is saying, hey, uh, I'm going for a very all-in push, and I need to win with this force. So I also, uh, because of that, I get a Spire right here. Because I see the Colossus, I'm going to need to get some Corruptors out probably. And I'm also going to continue throwing down more Spine Crawlers. Because at the very least, his Colossus will have range. But it will force him to wait out here before pushing in. So he can start dealing with the Spine Crawlers from long range. Which gives me time to, as I've talked about before, set up this very nice flank. So I'm going to go get vision on the towers, of course, uh, and just kind of see what's pumping around, see what's moving. He has a pylon back here, and he kills that off. But I've got this flank in position. If he does come, I've also got units right here. I've got a roach warren that I threw down right there um, because I did see so many zealots. And so now he's going to kind of push in right here, and he realizes he's going to have to back off a little bit. Uh, and just see, deal, deal with it with these Colossus. So now I'm going to be backing up with these Roaches right here. I get my units into good position to kill off any reinforcements to this army. And now I can just push, back, pull back and wait. So everything is just going to be pulled back, pulled back right to here. And then I can engage once I have all of this. And of course, get that so crucial flank that I've talked about before. It's so, so, so good to have. Um, it really just makes everything better. So here I'm going to go for the flank right here. So the ling's going to come up. I'm going to focus those around the back. And now everything's basically just going to converge in on his army. He's not really going to have a chance. I'm going to pull some units up here to go after this Colossus. But basically just getting that flank right there was the real important thing. And I mean, as you can see, I completely crushed his army right there. I still have 16 roaches with lings right there. I'm going to be picking off any reinforcements coming to join this up. And it's not even going to be close. And as I can say, I'm still ahead in this working out by a lot. He doesn't have an expansion. And so I'm pretty content just chilling on those two bases right there. Uh, because I knew that he was still stuck on that one base at that like eight minute mark and so there was no reason for me to be trying to get up that three base Stefano style Max Roach or anything because I'm just going to be on two bases right here um, I just need to stay a base ahead if you get too many bases ahead you lose because you over expand you over exploit yourself uh, and you leave, you leave yourself too open uh, and too vulnerable. So that's going to be it for winning in 40 APM or less. Today, at least, ZVP, one base Colossus push. And like I said, this is request. If you have any requests, leave it in comments below. I have a Team Liquid thread. I have a Reddit thread. Go leave it there. Um, just post, you know, name, the matchup, all the stuff. I have a little form that you can fill out for it. And I'll go ahead and get, onto the vid get on that video for you so you can easily, easily... Uh, see how to defend something with very minimal APM. So, my name is Mr. Lama. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I will see you guys next time.